Hello, my name is Alice, one of the reference librarians at Trout Library. Today I'm going to show you some resources to help you with your Business 260 Financial Analysis paper. There are three parts to your paper. I'm going to be showing you resources for part one and part two. In part one, you need the overview of the company, the company history, products offered, and the identification of major competition. The database Business Source Premier is a great place to get started to get this type of information. So right now I'm on the Harkham homepage. You click on Library Services on the right hand corner and you are on the Library homepage. To access Business Source Premier, click on database, Databases under Quick Links in, on the Library's homepage. Scroll down till you get to Business Source Premier. Log in using the username and password found in your Harkham Hatch over on the Quick Links gray silver tab. You can scroll down to Library Database Password List. But if your screen is small, it will be listed under your name. Quick Links under your name and then you can look for Library Database Password List. I'm going to be typing in the password. The assignment calls for researching a publicly owned company. I chose Netflix as the company I'm interested in. Business Source Premier has this feature called Company Profiles up on the purple bar. Click on it. And then I'm typing in Netflix. Press enter. As you can see, there are different columns here. Netflix is the first one. And right next to it is a market line report. The market line report is a very well researched industry profile report. This report will provide a lot of information you need for your paper, such as the SWOT analysis, company view, products, services, and competitors. So I'm clicking on it to show you what I'm talking about. See all this information right here. This will help you with part one. Part two of the assignment calls for analyzing financial statements and presenting two years of ratio analysis. I would recommend you go to Yahoo Finance. So we go to yahoo.com and then there's the uh, section where you click on finance up, up on top underneath the search bar, click on finance. And then on the far right hand corner it says quote lookup. So I'm typing in Netflix. If you know the uh, the code you can put that in as well, the symbol. You can put the symbols in but I just put in Netflix. And I click the search button. I'm just waiting for it to come through. It takes a little bit. Okay, did it come through yet? Okay, it'll come through, just takes a minute. I think there's a lot of uh, bandwidth being used. Okay. I apologize. Okay, here we go. So you will see the chart and the most up-to-date information here. And you can see the different tabs here. The one I would recommend for your particular project is financials. So click on financials. And when you pull it up, you will see the income statement. And this is already for the annual. You will need this kind of information annually and quarterly. You can see quarterly up here. You have that information, you can scroll through and get the numbers you need for your different formulas. You also see the balance sheet up here. So you have different information here. You can see the cash flow. Again, information for both annual and quarterly. So you can uh, scroll through here. Okay, another part of your report 
calls for um, for you to look at the 10Q, 10K, and the 8K. You can find that at the Securities Exchange Commission or SEC.gov. So SEC.gov. And you can look up here in the far upper right hand corner it says company filings. Click on that. And you can type in the company name. Again, I'm doing Netflix. And you can hit search. And you can see you see the 10K, 8K, 10Q. And it says here documents and interactive data. So you can click on that. Look for the latest one and you can click on what you need. And you can just click on the 10K. And you have this. But I would also recommend, you can see how it looks and it's in very small print and it's hi highlighted, hi hyperlinked. You can look at this, but I'm also going to recommend you go to the company page itself and look, Google it, look up the company page. I'm just going to Netflix and scroll down to the bottom. They usually have all these different uh, hyperlinks here. And they usually have an investor relation hyperlink. I would recommend you click on that. Scroll through. See, so it has quarterly earnings. And it has quick links here for the SEC filings. So you can click on that. And you can see uh, quarterly filings. That's for 2020. Um, you actually want it for 2019 for the previous quarter. And you can look at the latest quarter quarterly filing it's right here and you need the annual report the uh, 10k it's right here and you need the 8k which is the broad overview it's the um, it's a broad um, report to notify the investors of broad events that are maybe important to shareholders so if you don't you can look at all form types for 2020, it comes out at the beginning of the following year. So the 10Q, no, 10K came out in January of 2020. So the 8K also came out in January. So I would just scroll back a little bit. So here's the 8K current filing report. You can click on that. And it will give you in different format, PDF, Word, Excel. I'm just going to click on the PDF. And here you go. Here's the report. And you can use this information for what you need. So between all the reports, the numbers in Yahoo and Business Source Premier, you should be able to get all the information you need. If you need any additional help, please remember that you can contact us in multiple ways. You can email us at library at Contact us via the library chat services during the posted chat hours. It's on our main library page right here. Or you can call us at 610-526-6085 and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you.